Having spent 10 years in the house building industry, I experienced firsthand the challenges encountered on site with phased build schedules and on site logistical planning. Trying to then schedule in the now compulsory EV charger installs into your already hectic build programme only added to the headache. Our focus since inception was to design and build an EV charger which is at the forefront of EV charger technology whilst allowing for a quick and easy install at an affordable price point. We believe our EV1 charger has achieved this goal and our recent partnership with EV Energy has only strengthened our mission with additional features such as solar integration and our multi-use dwelling solution. Hi there, I'm Jono, I'm the CEO of Blackout Electrical. At Blackout Electrical we deal with domestic and light commercial installations as well as EV charger installations. And today we are going to be installing a wave charge point. So we've got a wave charge box here. Unboxing, alright, look, we have the installer's uh, guide to the commissioning. Uh, we have this lovely little pack here, which is the installation guide. Um, comes with lovely instructions and some fixing bolts and uh, a wave card as well. And then this is the client's app guide to how to use everything. Now inside the actual box, we have this beautiful charger. Here we go, look at that. Lovely. So it comes pre-wired with a 5 metre tethered cable and also the big selling point that comes with this for your termination so there's no need to actually go inside the charger itself it is already pre-wired so you take that to your junction box and make your connection there all right so we're at the point now where we've uh, run the cable all the way from the consume unit uh, to where we want to put the charge uh, point here um, it's all safely isolated at the board of course um, so what I'm going to do is just going to mount the bracket first okay just going to take the bracket off the charger. Um, they've given us a lovely tool to be able to do this. So just marking the fixing points now. That's all nice and level, in line, and within regs height. Lovely fixings here. Uh, we want to use a, an 8mm drill bit um, for the holes. So apologies, a bit noisy. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to offer up the charger onto the bracket just so I can uh, get a gauge of where I want to put the junction box. So this is the cable we're connecting to for the supply of the charger. So this will be going inside a junction box, nice and easy to connect to the main supply. What I'll do now is I'll put a couple of cable cleats on here just to fix the cable to the wall nicely. Just to give the cable going into the charger some mechanical help basically so there'll be no um, pulling on the charger end or on the supply junction end. Alright so what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the armoured cable to the junction box. Um, we're going to do this the good old fashioned way with the uh, SWA armoured uh, exterior gland. Okay, so next step is I'm going to attach the armoured to the wall using the appropriate fixings and then I am going to join the supply in this uh, junction box using Wago um, junctions to the charger and then put the junction lid back on and away we go. So we've uh, put the supply cable into the junction box, we've mounted the bracket and the EV charger and we've joined them in the junction box. It's time to make it live and start the commissioning process. This is all isolated back at the, uh, the incoming box, but I just want to show you where everything is. This is a CT clamp and it is on the incoming live conductor into the board. And this gives us um, some live data of what's happening with the solar power supply coming in. 
at the front we've got a type A 30 milliamp RCD and then over here this is the circuit for the EV charger and there is a 32 amp B type breaker protecting the EV charger. So what we've done now is we've put the cover back on the board and we've livened everything up uh, with the isolator, the MCB and the RCD. Um, so now it's ready for commissioning and testing. Okay, now to the commissioning side of the EV charger. It's really easy and straightforward. So we have the uh, installer pamphlet here or you can use the side of the box. All you have to do is get the camera on your phone and bring up the QR code. And that will send you straight to this web page. Okay, so you enter the, the charge point serial number. And then it'll bring up this screen here. Okay, so one thing to take note of, if you want to now test the installation, it is a good time to do it. And by doing that, all you need to do is press the enable button and that will send power to your EV charger. Okay, now it's just the uh, information for the, the customer. And now the MPAN number, you'll find this on the meter. This information here tells you about the recent changes to the regulations. As an installer, it is good to read because it tells you about off-peak charging. And then that's it. Congratulations, it's all commissioned.